In this video, we will prevent our enemies from moving over the edges of our platforms. Right now, we have some collision detection on the edges of the platforms, which will make um, the enemy turn around whenever she hits, hits the edge. But we are actually able to lure her over the edge if we attack her, for example, and she starts attacking me. Well, then at some point, I will be able to make her go over the edge of the platform if I simply start jumping like this. And um, this is the thing that we would like to prevent in our game, so that every single enemy is uh, only will be able to stand on the platform that she spawns on. So, um, to do this, we have to add some functionality to the enemy script. So if we go to our scripts and find our enemy script and open it up, then we will have to make sure that the enemy knows where the edges of the platform is. And basically the easiest way to do so is to use the colliders at the edges. Uh, but we are actually not going to use the colliders for anything. Um, we are going to use the positions of those game objects. So basically we could remove the colliders if that's what we want to. But for now we can start, we can go to our um, enemy script. And in the top here in the field we can make a private transform called left edge. Um, and a private transform called right edge. There we go. So now we have the two edges. And basically we can save this right away. And we need to serialize these two fields so we can see them from the um, so we can see them from, from the um, inspector. And if we go back into Unity here and we click on our hierarchy and find our enemy here. Um, let me just put a better layout. This is like Um, there we go. So basically, if we find our enemy now, you will see that on our enemy script, if I remember to save here, then we should see when it updates, where is the enemy script? It's up here, of course. There's a left edge and a right edge. So basically, the left edge needs to be set to the left side of the platform here. So if we click on the left edge here, just rename it to left edge and we can rename this one to right edge so basically these two belong to this platform here so maybe we should take these two here and put them as a child of eject of the large platform so we know that it belongs to this one anyway we need to click on the enemy and we need to add the left edge on the left edge and the right edge on the right edge so let's just do so so now this enemy knows where the edges of this platform is. The next thing we're going to do is to go to our script and inside our enemy script we'll have to find our move function because in here we will have to use um, the enemy's um, edges now to make sure that we don't move over the edge. So basically we can make an if statement inside move because if we're not attacking then we can move and in here we have to say if get direction dot x it's larger than zero, well then we move to the right if it's larger than zero and our transform dot position dot x is less than right edge dot position dot x. Okay, so now we are able to move to the right. If we put this inside the if then we are able to move to the right if our um, transform dot position is less than our right edge dot transform the position. So let's try to save this. And if we go in here, then you'll see that our enemy should be able to move to right here. Let's see if I can make her go all the way. And now you'll see she's not able to move over the edge uh, anymore, even though I'm standing here and jumping. Okay, so that was some of the code. Um, we will have to expand this if statement. So basically you can put an extra pair of parentheses around this just to encapsulate it and make it easier for you to read. And when you've done that, then we'll have to make an else or, or here, I mean. And then we have to do the exact same thing just for the other side. So we can just copy the first part and paste it after the um, or. 
and um, in here we have to say if our x direction is uh, less than zero and our position is less than or larger than um, left edge position dot x okay so right now we can move from left to right and right to left um, without running off the edge of our platforms but if we play the game right now let's just put a if we play the game right now you'll see that our enemy actually if I run to the edge here see if we can get her to the edge there so you'll see that if she just keeps standing there she'll never uh, turn around and she'll never start patrolling again right now because we haven't added the functionality for that because right now we're telling her you're not able to move if you are standing on the edge but right now she's standing on the edge and she's patrolling um, and she's not able to move so we need to make sure that she can also move at some point when she starts to patrol so we have to go in here and we have to make an else if so if our current state which is the state we're in it can be patrol idle or attack if that is a patrol state well then we just change direction so if our enemy is in patrol state then we change our direction and then we should be able to do this again so let's try to see what happens if we run the game now let's see if we can get her to the edge again maybe I should just have spawned her on the edge so that I didn't have to lure her over all the time let's see get all the way to the edge please there we go let's stand and wait and see what happens then at some point she should go uh, to patrol mode and then she should switch direction and there you go so now she switches her direction when she starts to patrol and everything else still works probably we can just uh, test it here if I run out of range here and she starts patrolling um, she should be able to um, run to the edge and turn around let's see and there we go so now she still turns around there so basically we could um, let's see here um, edge I think I had that somewhere because before we were looking at the edge here on trigger enter if it, it was um, if we hit a collider on trigger enter and it was an edge we changed our direction and we don't really need to do that anymore so we can simply go to our patrol state and delete this if statement I think um, let's try to save and see if it still works there's no point in having like unnecessary code let's see if, if she, she can still run to the edge and then turn around <clears throat> so if she still turns around then everything works fine boom and there we go so yeah everything works now with our new system so basically we can go and take the right edge and the left edge and remove um, the colliders from them because we don't need these colliders anymore we don't need the positions because we're using them instead see she should still turn around now and she does okay she just ran onto the box but that's what it is um, but anyway um, everything works as it should right now so basically yeah select your colliders or your edges and remove the colliders so that was a little fix. I think the next thing I'm going to do is to try to add some collectible to the game. Um, some people also requested that. Um, this fix I just made was also a request for some people. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. And remember that Inscope Studios is a community founder page. So if you like my videos, then please consider supporting me. Either by going to the Patreon page where you'll get all my projects. And you can also get private tutoring. Or just by getting this project by clicking on the link on the screen right now if you haven't done it already then please consider subscribing to my channel liking my facebook page or following me on twitter